Hey there, it's Spirit here. So you've got a great image that you want to put as the hero image on your website, the main image, but you just can't figure out how to fit it in the strip and how to make it look really, really fantastic. Well, I'm going to show you today some tips and tricks about how to adjust it, how to flip it, how to make it bigger or smaller so that it looks absolutely fantastic as the main picture on your site. It's the most important screen that people see on your website. You have about five seconds to give your viewer the information they need to want to continue looking at your website. So this should be impactful and it should also show you as a professional. A well-placed image goes a long way to do this. You want it centered with no heads cut off. You want the text readable, not too much, not too many fonts. You want a professional design and you want a nice high resolution image. This is a template that I've been building. It is an example of what I mean here. We've got a beautiful image centered, got your main tagline, second tagline, and a call to action right in the middle of the image. You've got a call to action up at the top, the menu. So this is what you're going for when you wanna add a hero image. Now your strip or section on a website is a very long, thin rectangle. And as you know, most pictures aren't this shape. This is not generally what a picture looks like. If I go into the editor and let's have a look at what this picture looks like for real, what I started off with, so you can see this picture is a big rectangle this way. It has a lot of space up at the top, a lot of space down at the bottom and on the sides. Actually, this is a was a really good candidate for being in the main strip because of all this space around the image. It allowed me to cut off the top and cut off the bottom and still have a nice presentation of what the people look like in the center here. And we'll go back into Photo Studio a little while later and talk more about that and how you can go use crop and resize to actually change pictures. But this one is so perfectly good the way it is with the people right in the center that it worked fine for this picture here. And as well, you can see that I made the picture kind of transparent with a black background to make the white lettering pop but more about that later so this is a mock-up page on this site that I've been using just to teach I've got another site-wide strip here this is not a strip I, I think this is a it's just a section it's not a strip so it has to go all the way across I couldn't put any margins on the side like the previous example I showed you but if I go into preview the image sits right in the middle of the strip and it's nicely centered. This is my website on a screen that's about 21 inches across. Normally I use a 27 inch iMac. This is my secondary monitor. And the way that you can go and check how things are looking on smaller screens is to go up to the upper left hand corner and take your screen out of full screen view and then you can just go down to the corner and you'll get some arrows going in both directions and you can make this bigger and smaller and you can even do this in the editor that was about 21 inches and then we're going you know down to about a 17 inch and then you can see kind of what it's going to look like on a 13 inch and then if you really go over towards the side this is probably about what it's going to look like on a tablet so it's really interesting to do that especially when you're layering things and when you're placing things in your header and you can see that the image totally changes see it really backs out of my image the smaller I make the screen and the larger I make the screen, the image is in a different position. So you saw much more of me when it was on a tablet than you do in the full screen view. Always something to be checking. What affects how your image will look on a section or a strip is the size, shape, and resolution of the image, where the image is positioned, and whether or not you use parallax scrolling or some other kind of scrolling, because that changes the way the image shows up as well. Here we are using parallax, obviously. And when I go back into the editor, you can see that the image 
is different now. It's not showing parallax because we're in the editor and obviously it's not centered. So when you're building your site, you want to keep going into the preview to see what the image is actually going to look like on a live site and also doing what I showed you earlier, squeezing in with the arrows and seeing what the website is going to look like on bigger and smaller screens. If you have the ability to do that, or you can just look on different screens as well. It's always going to look different on the live site than it does in the editor. So let's look in the media library and look at what might be a good candidate for a background image and not so good candidates. So let's go into the media library library for just a sec. And to do that, we're going to go to change the image here. And let's just look around and see what would be good for backgrounds and not so good for backgrounds. So just looking through what pops up here, a picture like this is going to only show part of the window here. This is not going to be great for a long wide strip like this. Something like this will be fine, it, you know, or the clouds, those will be fine because they'll just work like a texture background. They won't, you won't really be able to see what they are. Something like this would work really well. And we might try this one in a second because we can see what a long strip would look like on this picture. Something like this wouldn't work so well because this is too big. If we made, if we went, imagined what a long strip would be here, we're not seeing very much of what the actual picture is. This would be a good one. This not so good. You do want to look for pictures that are kind of wide rather than tall. This one would not work for a site wide strip. This one would be great. This would probably work. This one might work beautifully because you're, you could make your site wide strip probably exactly this big. It's nice and wide. What we're going to do is we're going to use this one today. And as you can see, that kind of changed things a little bit. So first of all, what I'm going to do just to start talking about this is we're going to take off the parallax scrolling because that's moving it around to begin with. There she goes. Now she's in the middle and let's go look at what it looks like in preview. Not too bad, but she's too far down. So we want to move her up. So let's go back into the editor and go back into change section background. And we're going to go into settings right here. This is settings. This is the photo studio. So just basic settings. Oftentimes we can make it work just from there. So here we've got the ability to make the image transparent. We can change the color behind the image to any of your site colors that you want. I tend to prefer to just leave this black or white, making an image transparent, you know, in blue or red or something like that. It, it's, it's not as elegant looking in my opinion. Then this changes the original size of the picture. That didn't change very much on here because this is a Wix image, but if you were using one of your images, it might make it huge or it might make it small. Tile usually makes them, uh, makes it show up several times, but because this is a Wix image there, it's kind of formatted so it looks well in here no matter which one of those you choose. So here's what we're looking at. We are looking at the positioning. So I can position it. That's going to take it down. So I've moved up to the top of the picture and now I'm going to move down to the bottom of the picture. Well, neither of those are working really well. I don't want the picture to look like this and I don't want the picture to look like this and I'm not really happy with it looking like this. Last down here before we leave is it says what's the image and this is where you're going to tell Google what this image is. So you know right now it says warm up on the beach and all the Wix pictures say something like that with words but you want to make sure if you're using one of your own images it doesn't say you know 2347.jpg or something like that. You want to say what the picture is so Google can understand it. More about that in an SEO video. What we're going to do, we can't do anything here. That's not fixing the, the uh, problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the picture studio. Now we're not going to go through too much here because again, that's for another video, all these adjustments and enhance, which is my favorite one. What we're going to do is we're going to go into crop and resize and we're going to take this down. Now you see, it's hard to see on this picture, but you see there are the white lines. There are grid lines here. And what we want to do is we want to get her in the grid lines. So I've just put her, she's in the middle of the middle grid line. So let's see how that works. Let's save it. And there we go. So now she's right in the center. Perfect. And we can move the tagline around wherever we want it. I might move the tagline over here. 
and put this up, but now I can't see the white tagline. So let's go back in. Oh, first of all, silly me. Let's check it on preview and see how it looks on there. Okay, great. It's fitting in just how I want it. Back to the editor. Okay, now to make this tagline pop, well, you can do two things. We could just make this black and make the other tagline black as well, or whatever your site colors are. Or I'm gonna go back to the white with our trusty undo button, which I use all the time. And let's go back into change section background and back into settings and let's make it a little transparent. And now we've got the site title in white. So you can do either of those things. All right, now let's try to make her parallax. So we're in preview, looks great in preview, back to the editor. Now let's click on background and scroll effects and let's go for parallax. And that's really going to change things. Always oh, does. So in preview, she's way down there. And again, not how we want her. So we want to adjust that one more time and go into change section background. Let's go back into the photo studio and let's go back into crop and resize. And we want her down further. Now this is sort of counterintuitive because where I've got the middle grid lines is below where she is. The middle grid lines are below where her head is. So if I were just putting this on the website without parallax, I might be cutting her head off, but not so with parallax. So you've just got to play around with this. Let's try to save that, see how it looks. Let's go into preview. Perfect. And we've got her parallax scrolling and she's right in the middle when we go to the top here. Now I got that perfectly centered on the first go and that may not always happen. It may take a couple of times of going back and forth and kind of adjusting it. If you go too far, you can always use the back button to get to where you were before. You'll get it so that it is nice and centered if you're patient. Going back into this page on this website, I just wanna show you how a strip can be manipulated to show the picture a little bit better. This strip has margins on it here. When I preview this picture, we're kind of well fit in here. Not too much of this guy's head is cut off. If this were on any smaller a screen, his head would be in, in the shot. But if I go back into the editor and if I get rid of the margins, it cuts off more of his head and in the preview, see we've got a lot more of the family cut off, the, the woman and the man's heads, because it's a really long rectangle. By using margins, I can make the rectangle smaller. I can even make it this small and see how it changed how much of them was shown. So I had it at about 90 originally. And again, when you go all the way out, cuts them off. When you go all the way in, it brings them back a little bit so you can see more of them. Let's use another image to show that more. Okay, I'm going to go into change strip background. I've got the margins off here and I'm going to go into image and I'm going to go back down to the image of the man that I was showing you earlier, this one, the bodybuilder. And let's put him in this strip. Now he is a pretty good candidate for going here because that was a nice wide picture and a good shape for what we're doing, but still it's not working out. So even if we go into preview, obviously we don't want his head cut off. And let's see what happens when we use the margins on this image. Let's go up to 90 and see what it looks like. That brings him in a little bit more and we could bring him in a little bit more by going the whole way. And then we can also, well, you could do one of two things. We could bring this strip down further. Let's make it a little wider there. That's perfect. Or what we could have done, we could have cut off the bottom of it a little bit, but uh, I think it's nice the way it is. So then we could move our text over to the side and there you go. Now let's see about making this parallax. Let's go into scroll effects and bring him into parallax. Now you see that's changing the image so much. Sometimes you just can't use parallax for an image. This isn't bad. Let's see how it looks. Uh, yeah, see, that's not going to really work. You know, I will say sometimes images just don't work for parallax. Sometimes they do. This one, I don't think it does. So I'm going to take the parallax off 
And there we go, much better. If you're watching this thinking, Birit, this is great, but I haven't even gotten my site content together yet. I don't even know what I need to collect to build a site, let alone how to pick pictures, fonts, colors, and everything else. If that's the case, after this video, head over to my website, biritdesign.com, and download my free guide and workbook, 21 Elements You Must Have for Your Successful Website. It's a really simple checklist and guide showing you exactly everything you need to build your site. Gather it all together before you start out and building your site will not only be a breeze, it will take about a quarter of the time. Let's get your site done fast so you can get on with the business of running your business. Check out 21 Elements in the link in the description. So now I'm back at the original picture I had here and I did this from the last picture just using the back button. I just clicked back, 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 back and got to where I originally was. So you can always try things out, try pictures out, try different things out and know you can go back to your, where you originally are. how to save one of these pictures. This is a Wix picture. It's from the Wix library. And if I use this picture and then go change to another picture and change to another picture, I want to use this picture on a different page as well. I would have to go back into the Wix library and go find this picture. Let's see, family on the beach. As you can see, sometimes it's hard to find there they are right down here but sometimes it's really hard to find them sometimes you just can't remember what a picture was called or it's you know this one was pretty obvious with family on the beach but sometimes it's just difficult to find them if you really like a picture like i like this one you go into change strip background and go into the photo editor go into crop and resize and just size it down the t little bit and save it and that will save that version of that image into your media files into your media files and it's really really useful for wanting to use the same image somewhere else on the site without having to look for it now that took off my transparency and it moved the image a little bit I don't want that so I'm just gonna use the back button to go where I was let's go to the site images and there we are. I'd already saved it earlier just in case. We've got your image saved. You can always use it anywhere you want. And now I'm going to show you how to flip an image in case you want to change where you can put text on the image. So I'm going to change section background and I have an image I've saved of these two women talking. And as you can see right now, this is blurry over here and my site title is over here. I wanna keep my site title there. So I wanna flip this. It's more convenient for me if this lady is over on this side and this lady is over on this side. So I'm going to go back into the photo studio and I'm gonna go into crop and resize. And this is where flipping happens. So I'm gonna change that around. It's right here. And then I'm gonna save and it's flipped around now. So now I can put my site title here and my tagline here and I'm just gonna give them a you know, call to action as well. Make sure they're all lined up with the pink lines here. So now they've got a contact me in here and the tagline and the title is in a great space. Let's preview that. I believe we've got them on, yeah, we've got them on parallax. So that's why she's a little cut off at the beginning, which I kind of like. I would probably leave that. If you want to take the parallax off, you can do that. And now we've really got to move her around. So let's go back to the editor and make it a little wider. I don't have the option. I am in a section right now, so I can't make it more narrow. I'm going to make this a lot bigger in there. I kind of like this actually. I don't mind that part of her head is cut off, but I might just leave it like that. Anyway, play around with it so that you have the part of the image in the strip or section that you wish. Actually, I liked it best when she was parallax. Now I like that.
Now, sometimes you have an image that is just not going to fit on this big space here. And so what do you do about that? Either the resolution is not good enough or it's just a square picture and you want to show the whole thing and it's just not going to work on here. I suggest adding a strip to the top, creating a column and putting your picture on one side and your text on the other side. So I'm going to add a section with this purple button here because I'm just going to leave this second section in the site right now. I could drag over this section because it's kind of started for me, but I want you to know how to do it. So we're going to start with the basic section, just a plain white one. And we'll drag that over here. So I've got a plain section here with nothing in it. I'm going to add a strip on top of the section. So I have the ability to make columns and I have the ability to make margins. Then I'm going to add a column. So I'm going to put my text over here and I'm going to put my picture over here or the other way around, whichever you like. So let's change the column background and presto, I've added a picture to the left column and a colored background to the right column and moved the title and tagline and call to action over to the right side here. In this way, if you have a picture that is lower resolution, it's just going to be smaller and and it will look clearer than if you tried to stretch it all the way across a site-wide strip. As well, you can move it around. In here, I could flip this. I could go into change column settings and I can crop and resize this a little bit. Say I really wanted to zero in on these women, save that, and I could bring them more to the center of the picture that way. I can click on the margins and bring them in a little bit. And lastly, I can change the size of the columns so I can make the picture bigger and this side smaller. So let's say I went here and obviously that's the wrong way. So you reverse the layout and that's a little much there. So I could end up with a hero image like this. And that's what I would do if I had an image that I wanted to put here that was less than perfect, but I really wanted to use it. So that should get you going with your main site strip. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best that I can. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you want to work with me, go over to Beer at Design and book a call with me. I'd love to get my hands on your website and make it look gorgeous for you. Until next time. Oh. <laughs>